It's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior with a Chromebook tip. How to save your screenshots automatically into Google Photos. The thing I like about Google Photos is it doesn't matter where I am, what device I'm using, it is always so easy to drop an image right into Google Photos. I take a lot of screenshots that help me to make videos and produce shows. It gives me great ideas for future presentations. So whether I'm using my Chromebook or on my PC, I take a lot of screenshots. Now, I always like these screenshots to be available in one location for easy access, because a lot of time if I'm taking them on my Chromebook, I'm in a different location when I'm doing the show or I'm creating videos. So I find that Google Photos is an excellent location for me to store all my screenshots for future use. Let me show you today how easy it is to set up your Chromebook to automatically store your screenshot into Google Photos. All right, we're now on my desktop of my Chromebook. You see the cursor here, and I'm gonna show you how to take a screenshot and save it to Google Photos. And why would I wanna do this? Well, I'm gonna show you. Let's, uh, this is of course the uh, blank page, but we're gonna come over to a news article that I've just been looking at. Blink's latest battery powered camera now comes with person detection. Now I wanna do a news article about this, I'm reviewing the news on my Chromebook, and I wanna capture this. So what's the easiest way to do that? Well, of course, you know that your Chromebook has a capture feature. Let's have a look. We can take my, my cursor and we're gonna come down to the bottom right. I click the button here and you'll see it says uh, screen capture. And we can click this and we can capture the screen. And now this of course turns it a different color. We can do a screen capture or we can do a video, but I just wanna do a screen capture of this. And we have the option of choosing the area, click anywhere to capture the full screen, or we can actually choose part of the screen. So I can actually, if I just want this, we can just actually just choose this area to capture. But I want the whole screen. In this particular case, in fact, I, I want to store this for future reference and I want it to go to Google Photos. I just put all my captures into Google Photos where I know they're there and they're easy to sort. And that's just a thing I do and I like to, because I have a lot of different devices. So I'm going to click anywhere here and we can do a screen capture of this. Let's click here and it is now, it is now captured. Now, when we capture something on a Chromebook, it, it, you saw that it, it goes to a number of different places. Uh, the first thing is, is that captures it. Let's, let's just come back for a minute. And let's, let's just bring up this screen now. And where did that go? Where did the, where did the screen capture that we just do go? Well, I'm going to tell you that in a moment, but I want to come back to the, to this uh, article again and tell you that there's an easier way to do a screen capture of this. It's the, it's a shortcut and it's called the control overview. And if I hit control and overview, it's automatically just takes a screenshot. I don't have to go down and load those other, I don't have to go down to the right hand side and, and click those extra steps. So just by hitting the control and overview button, it automatically takes a screenshot. Well, this is great because as I travel around looking at different articles, I can just do control overview and it takes a screenshot for me. And where does it save it? Well, this is very interesting. So as you know, it, it saves it, it'll save it to the clipboard. So you can either see that by coming down to the tote, we call this the tote on a Chromebook, and you can see now I've actually saved this a number of times, but you can see uh, where it's saved. So you know your image is saved. If you want to find it, it's right here, but it's also on the clipboard and you can access the clipboard by the, uh, by the everything button and V. So that's another shortcut, everything button V, and you can bring this up and you can paste it from here. These have uh, your last five items of your clipboard and I've been of course practicing on this article. So you can do that. So either you can find them down 
here in the tote, or you can certainly find them everything plus V, and they're right on the clipboard for you. But I don't want to do any of those things. I just want this saved in Google Photos. So let's go to the file menu because of course all your images are stored in your downloads directory. So let's come over and find this particular file in our, in our file menu. So we click files here. We're going to come up and you'll see downloads here. I click downloads. Here we are. My last, uh, my last, the image that I just uh, captured is in my downloads directory. But again, I'm not on this Chromebook when I'm doing editing and producing videos. I'm in a different location using a different machine. So I don't really want this in the downloads directory. I want it to be in Google Photos. Well, let's open this up. So let's right click it and let's look at the, let's look, look, look along here. We can certainly send it to Google Photos. If we, if we click here, we can open it with a lot of different things and we can share it. But if I want to just send this to Google Photos, I just click here and it is now in, in Google Photos. I don't want that. I want this to actually be done automatically for me because as I'm going through looking at different articles, this is a, a fast process and I don't want to have to go back and do this manually. How can I do that automatically? Now, let me just show you that if we are in Google Photos, let's just open another, um, let's just open Google Photos up. So if we open Google Photos up, we'll see that the article is, autom is in uh, Google Photos. We'll see here and click this, but this is actually in, in Google Photos. All right, let me show you how to automatically save your screenshots into Google Photos. Now, the trick here is this. If you look at, this is my browser, I'm in my browser now, and I'm in Google Photos, but I'm in Google Photos through the web. In other words, this is the web application, and you can tell that because at the top, it says photos.google.com. If I come over here, this is how I got to it, all right? So this is not the app. This is just the browser. You're going through it through the web portal, and this is how you're finding the article. What you need to do is, is use the app, which you should have on your Chromebook. And this is annotated by this little blue dot here. If you look here, you'll see this little blue dot, and you'll see that when I bring this up, this is the app, okay? And you don't see the, the web portal here. This is the app that I'm using on my Chromebook. So you want to make sure that you have the Google Photos app on your Chromebook. Now, once you are in the app, you can see over on the left-hand side, you'll see this on device. Let's click this and find out what this is all about. Okay, now this is where you can turn on the automatic saving. Now these are all the places on your Chromebook that you can go. You can see your camera, but I want to go to the downloads directory here. Okay, let's click this, and this is the downloads directory on my Chromebook. And you will now remember we're in the Google Photos app, and it says download. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to turn this button on, and that means anything that's put in my downloads directory now will automatically be saved to Google Photos. This is important for some people because. You may want to do screen captures as I do and have them on different locations. And this is a very easy way just to put them into Google Photos. So anything that goes into your downloads directory will automatically be saved to Google Photos. In summary, let's see how this works. You now have my Chromebook. You'll see my uh, cursor here, but I'm not gonna use the cursor. I'm simply going to use the control key plus the overview key and we're going to take a, sc a screenshot of my Chromebook. Now you'll see that it's uh, coming up to the clipboard, but I don't want this. I just simply want to look at Google Photos now and see if it's automatically saved into my Google Photos account. Let's have a look. Let's uh, go over to my Google Photos, Photos account. You'll see up here, Google Photos. We're actually going through the web portal, photos.google.com, and here's the article right here that I've just done 
a screenshot of. So that's how simple it is. It's just control overview key and it's automatically saved to your Google Photos account. Thank you.